guys. So the pros and cons of NMN over the last six weeks. Let's start with the pros. Uh, number one, energy. Energy is insane. It starts kind of starts off a little bit slow. It's like, is this a placebo? Is this is this in my head? And then you realize, oh my gosh, um, my energy is off the charts. It's crazy. Um, so I've mentioned this in a previous video. I took too much to start off with and I didn't sleep. And I tried different dosages and I didn't sleep. And I didn't sleep properly for about a week. And I was wide awake, I was so switched on, and it wasn't like a stimulant or a caffeine. I was just so sharp and I just, I just couldn't get to sleep. So my energy was through the roof. Once I kind of got the dosage dialed in, found out what works for me, uh, my energy from the moment I wake up to the moment I go to bed, so I get up about 8, 8 a.m., go to bed about 12 p.m., my energy the whole day is just high and it's just one solid level. There's no ups, there's no downs. I'm just cruising. Um, I'm more energetic than I ever have been. I feel like I'm 20 again, I'm 42, and I'm just cruising on a whole different platform and I absolutely love it. So to add on to the energy, I fast, I fast 23 hours a day. So I do OMAD, which is one meal a day. Uh, in the morning, I have a black coffee. So I always have a black cold brew. And obviously cold brews are pretty strong. They give you like a little bit of energy. When I have coffee with the NMN, it's like a whole different story. It's just like five, nearly 10 times stronger. And what I mean by that, it just enhances the effect of the NMN to a whole new degree. And I, when I'm coming home from like getting a coffee, I'm just like wide awake. I'm so energetic. I feel so good. Uh, just a little bit of caffeine, what it can do to kind of go with the NMN is absolutely insane. So mood, mood would be the next thing. Uh, enhanced mood, feeling a lot better and a lot happier. And it's not like I'm unhappy or I don't feel good. I think it's the fact that I feel so good and I've got so much energy. Um, I think that's just enhanced. So I'm functioning better, I feel better, I've got more energy, therefore I'm just so much happier. Um, I've got a very silly personality, I'm so much sillier, I'm so much crazier. I, it honestly reminds me of being a, teen a teenager, it reminds me of being in my early 20s. I was so ridiculously silly, and in my 40s I kind of feel like the same as I did back when I was 20. And I keep hearing stories, people feel so much younger. But for me personally, after like from pretty much day one up to like the end of six weeks, I my energy is insane. I feel so much happier. I feel so much more energetic. I'm super happy with it so far. I do weights five days a week for about an hour to hour 15. I feel like I definitely train harder. My endurance, I, I would say even my strength, and I don't know if it's necessarily making me stronger, but I feel like I'm definitely pushing harder and I'm training harder and I'm recovering better. So sometimes I would train and I'll get home from the gym and I'll be like pretty zonked. I come home from the gym and I'm like, I haven't been. I'm so like, could go again. I absolutely love it. And I've mentioned it before, like at 12 o'clock at night when I'm ready to go to bed, I could also go to the gym. So from that moment you get up to the moment you go to bed, you're just functioning on that same level of energy. And I'm talking 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 at night. I'm still cruising. I'm still looking for something to do. And I find I'm working more and I'm accomplishing more during the day. But touching back on the um, the training, I definitely am training a lot harder. And I don't, I don't know if it's like placebo. I don't know if it's in my head. But I definitely feel like I'm training a lot harder than I normally do. And then lastly, the pro is the clarity. Uh, feeling sharp. So obviously fasting uh, takes away a lot of brain fog. Feel very sharp, your clarity's there. So I'm not sure it's enhancing that. I'm not sure it's because I got extra energy, I'm functioning better. But I'm definitely very, very, very alert, very switched on, very like, very motivated, very, very motivated. Um, so just to touch on that, the energy, when you're taking caffeine, the extra energy you get from that, um, the mood that goes with it, uh, feeling a lot better because you're feeling and functioning a lot better um, and just the clarity and feeling very sharp and it's only been six weeks you're not even really supposed to see the difference for it like a good couple of months so after six weeks they're the pros all right so the cons of nmn uh, number one is when i took the wrong dosage when i started i didn't sleep 
and I was only taking uh, 500 milligrams, and most people take a gram, which is 1,000 milligrams. I guess I'm 42, I'm pretty healthy. I don't know, I've still naturally got a, a certain level of NAD in my body where just by taking that too much, it just, it was too much. And I didn't sleep. But like I mentioned before is, it's not like I wouldn't sleep because I was stimulated on caffeine. I was just wide awake. I couldn't turn my brain off. I was, I was thinking about business. I was thinking about ideas. Uh, I was trying to just switch off, but my mind wouldn't let me. And, um, and I also mentioned too, when you're deprived on sleep and you wake up in the morning, you feel horrible and it affects you the next day, your next two days. But for me, um, I could just get up and go again, could go to the gym, function my whole, through my whole day and just feel absolutely fine. So it was really weird thing. It was affecting my sleep, but then it wasn't affecting my energy in the next day. But I definitely don't recommend taking too much. So I would ease into it. And now I'm taking only 250 milligrams actually. So I only take a quarter of what most people take. And that's just the sweet spot for me and it works the best for me. So con is just to uh, watch how much you take because it could affect your sleep. Another con that I'm finding is what's real and what's fake. And I really having a hard time knowing what, what brands to trust. I keep hearing if you buy anything from any NMN from Amazon, they're all fake. So another article saying there's only five real NMNs coming from Amazon. Everyone's kind of pointing me in different directions. So what I'm doing is I'm trying different ones for myself. I'm kind of doing a little bit of research. I'm trying um, different ones. The, first, the one I'm trying now is True Nitrogen. Um, I'll, if, you, if you need more details, just leave a comment. Um, and that seems to be real. It's from a health food store. I work with the health food store. Um, and it's 100% it's working, so it can't be fake. Is it full dosage? Is it as good as it meant to be? I'm not sure. But for me personally, it's working. But I know a lot of people are confused on what brands to trust, what's fake. Because obviously it's not real. There's probably a lot of money to be made in that. And it's a new supplement. It seems to be something everyone's really starting to get interested in. A lot of people want to get into it. So it's just kind of phasing out what's fake, what's real, and just be careful and do your research. And when I can find what I can find, I'll definitely share it with you guys. And the only other con for me is um, everything's been fantastic, no negative effects. Uh, the only thing, the only other con is the long-term effects. We don't know enough about it. I don't know enough about it. There's obviously been scientific research done on it. It obviously works. Can you take too much? Can you take for too long? Is it even good for you, even though it does seems to give you um, positive effects? Uh, there's no, there's no long-term data. So, uh, but my kind of justification is at 42, I'd rather take it and find out it works at 60 than get to 60 and realize I should have taken it at 42 because I could have felt younger, lived longer. And all these, all these upfront effects isn't why I'm doing it. I'm not doing it for energy. I'm not doing it for, any, for anything for that. I'm doing it because David Sinclair says it's got longevity effects in the long term. It's going to give you better quality life for longer. So if you're going to die at 80, your last 10 to 15 years might be awful like it is for most people. By taking the NMN, your last 10 to 15 years could actually be livable, fun, spending with family, traveling, uh, actually utilizing and benefiting for your retirement. So that's the reasons behind me. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of these videos. I'm going to keep you guys updated. But like I said, pros energy, boost the caffeine's energy, uh, mood, sharp, clarity, all the cons. Negative is you take too much, you will not sleep. Um, it's hard to know what's fake and what's real, and we just don't know the long-term effects. So thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned.